What up, YouTube? It's the Richard Ortiz 123 coming at you guys again with another video. Excuse the whole mess behind me. I was trying to mount this stupid ass soundbar and I couldn't get it to work. Anyways, I got something a little bit different from you guys in a normal video. I've never done a sponsored video or like an advertised video, but my people at DB Journey, they are from Norway. They hit me up. They was like, yo, we know you got the best unboxing videos in the game. And they had to tap in with me. They sent me this bag out here. And uh, they also gave me a discount code for y'all. It's called the Richard Ortiz one two three one five. I'll put that in the link, or I'll put that in the description. It gives you fifteen percent off on any purchases you make on the on the website. There's no minimum. Um, they're more like an outdoors uh, luggage type of brand. So if you're into exploring, if you like traveling, go take a look. Even if you're not interested in buying anything, just take a look, see what they got. Maybe in the future you need a luggage or a backpack or a, a cross bag or anything. Feel what I'm saying? They got a lot of good shit on there. And uh, like I said, use my coupon code. You'll, you'll save 15% off. And uh, I mean, right now we're going to be unboxing. It's called the Strom, S-T-R-O-M. It's a 60 ml bag. And uh, hopefully you guys fuck with this. I'll put a link in the description for this specific bag if you're interested. So let's get right into it. Oh, by the way, I don't sense or nothing bro if this shit is trash i'm gonna tell you that shit is trash i've had this for a couple of days and i've i haven't even touched it because i want to have it like i want my live reaction to be on here i mean i obviously looked at it and shit but i didn't like open it or anything uh this is my live reaction so if this is trash i'm gonna let y'all know starting off with the cardboard box it's just a regular box that says db on it and uh yeah like I said, this company is out in Norway, but the shipping is surprisingly fucking fast, bro. Um, the original scan from uh, the tracking was in PA, and then the next day it came to me. Like, I got the tracking number, I think it was on a Tuesday, and it got to me by the end of Wednesday. I was like, damn, bro. I thought it was going to be international shipping, but these people are quick. Opening this up. It says the world is beautiful go have a look here we got the strom s-t-r-o-m 60 ml uh for my americans that is 75 by 44 by 26 centimeters if that's helpful by any chance this is all uh, for y'all revin i think this is 15 or uh, 15 centimeters you see the comparison um not 15 centimeters i'm bugging this holds a 15 inch uh macbook I forgot which size that was. Here's a Marc Jacobs bag for all my ladies or niggas that like Marc Jacobs. Just show you how the comparison if y'all can see that. So, I mean, like I said, this is a luggage. This isn't a backpack, obviously. They do make a strong backpack, but um, I didn't get that. So, uh, first, before I even open anything, looking at the tags, it says DB right here. When you flip it, it says there will be stories. The adventure starts at DB Journey. Uh, this is called the Hugger Roller Bag 60L Blackout. And uh, it's just telling you to follow uh, their Instagram and uh, tag them and stuff to show your adventures. Um, if I didn't mention, this bag was 300 or 299 USD. Uh, you know, opening the top compartment. This is where you have the little handle for the uh, the luggage, which is pretty cool. You can also fit like a phone in here. You can fit a couple of things in here if you uh if you wanted to. Yo, pass me for real quick. This is an iPhone uh 13, 12. What is this? 12, 13? 12, yeah. 12, yeah, Pro. Um, well, now that I, I'm thinking about it, you can't really close it if this is open. But if you're walking, you can just toss it in there, you know pretty sturdy it won't fall out um thank you if i'm being honest with y'all i wanted to do a whistling diesel test on these bags i wanted to throw it out my car driving like 50 but i don't i think that's a little too extreme they have this bag that's 700 dollars that i'm gonna see if i can get to review for you guys we're gonna do a whistling diesel style test on that i'm gonna be throwing it off a car throwing it off a building like we're gonna do some wild shit but on the back we got these little things. I don't know what this is called. Like, I don't really travel, so. Um, this is a pretty good quality bag, though. Uh, the material is nylon. And uh, over here, it's like, uh, it's like padded, uh, 
It's like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's it's good quality. It's not no cheap shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's gonna take, it feels like it could take a good beating, which is what you need when you go on the airport, because you know how they handle luggage and shit. So, opening it up, hopefully you guys can see. It's a lot of storage here. You have two compartments on each side, one here and uh, one here. Pretty deep. Uh, you also have a zipper that goes all the way down. You have more storage. Um, I don't think anything can go back here. Or maybe some things can go back here, but I don't know because this is literally like the internal, so you can see the the handle and um, the screws and stuff. So I don't think you can put stuff back there, but you know, if you're buying it, you can do whatever the fuck you want with it. Fuck what? I can put paper there. I can put paper there. What are you talking about? Like files and stuff. Alright, so my, my, my very smart girlfriend just told me I can put files back there. So I guess if you want to put files back there, you're more than welcome to. Um, so yeah, that's 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 a thing. Um, I didn't mention this also has a, a little clip. So your luggage won't move around and shit. Make sure I got everything. Oh, there's these side... Uh, handles and shit, if you want to hold it here, one here, one here, hopefully you guys can see that, the wheels, good quality, they don't squeak or anything, they're independent, so they work individually, um, and uh, yeah, I don't really know how to review a fucking luggage bag the best way that I can, so I'm going to just grab a bunch of my clothes and stuff them in here and see how much stuff I can fit in here. So yeah, I'll be back. Uh, all right guys, so here I have 20 pairs of pants. This is exactly 20. I'm gonna fit this in here and see what else I can put in there. Uh, all right, so I have 20 pairs of pants in here. I don't think it can fit too much more things, but I'm gonna grab the straps. I'm gonna secure it, and we're gonna see if anything else will fit in here. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't know in a situation why you need to take 20 pairs of pants to a vacation spot, but in the case that you need to, the DB Journey Strong Bag will do you just fine. Here we have 20 pairs of pants. Closes up perfectly. You're ready to go wherever you need to go. Um, I'm gonna try to fit more shit in here. Let's do it. So here we have an empty closet Azul bottle. Fits just fine. Let's see what else. Here I have 11 white shirts. Y'all niggas be on my dick talking about I need to change my shirt. Well, bitch ass nigga, I got 11 of the same shirts. So I'm gonna try to fit 11 white shirts in this bag. Let's see what we can do. Here we have the 20 pants. 11 shirts and a Clasia Azul bottle. I, I don't know the fucking size of this. This is $200. All right, that's enough. So let me put this in here. There you go. Let me close the bag. It's a little tight. What? Bro, come on now. Y'all not fucking with this bag. Close it on this side. And it doesn't like a champ, bro. There's 20 pairs of pants, 11 shirts, and uh, a Clasi Azul bottle in there. And, uh, you know, you're going on your little journey. And you validate, like, bro, what, what other bag do you need, my nigga? I should like this bag. It's a cool bag. It fits a lot of stuff, like I just showed you. I don't think anything else will fit, but we can always try because why the fuck not? Oh, I forgot to mention, there's a DB logo right here. It's in a uh, pretty good quality rubber. Doesn't feel like it'll fall off anytime soon. All right, uh, what else can I fit in here? All right, ladies and gentlemen, here I have a PlayStation 5 Disc Edition. I'm gonna try and see if this fits in here. If this breaks, my girlfriend will buy me a new one, so don't really worry about it. Well, it fits horizontally. 
Um, I'm not gonna lie, I don't think it'll fit, but if it does fit, y'all gotta buy something. This is no question, y'all gotta buy something. Oh, I'm being careful not to drop it, but oh, there's, there's handles at the bottom. Bro, if this closes, y'all gotta buy this back, bro. There's no question about it. There is no question. So I feel like this is the closest I'm gonna get to getting a closed bag. Um, it did fail the PS5 test, but come on now. Yeah, I gotta give props where it's due. This is a pretty good bag. I definitely will be using this when I go out to, uh, you know, other countries, other states, when I go away. This will be the bag I need to. Um, before I was using like weekend bags and shit like that, but now I have an actual really good quality sturdy bag. Um, I definitely recommend this to anybody who's into traveling. If you're like going out on adventures, um, you don't even have to get this. Like I said, they have backpacks, they have a uh, week or cross bags, whatever the shit is called. Um, that's the gun bag. Everybody knows about it. They got wallets. They got a lot of shit, bro. Like I said, I'll leave a link for the website in the description. Just take a look, see if you like anything. If you don't, that's cool. If you do, feel free to use my code. You get 20 per or 15% off on all your purchases. The Richard Ortiz 12315. Um, yeah, like I said before, if you like this specific bag, this is called the Strong 60 Liters. I said an ML first is 60 liters. Um, they also have a 90 liter variant, which is bigger than this. I'm pretty sure if I had the 90 liter, it will fit the PS5 with no problem. I could probably put a bunch of other shit in here, but this is the smaller one, so it wouldn't fit this. But if you're into that, the 90 liter is 329. This is 299. That's about it for this video. Appreciate you guys for watching. Today actually makes 12 years since I started doing YouTube. Uh, January 15, 2011, I was on my iPod. And uh, I was on my way to work with my mom. Well, we was on our way to her job. And uh, I recorded a view of uh, the train. I just thought it was nice. I uploaded it. Now, 12 years later, I'm doing unboxings, putting fucking PlayStations in uh, luggages. Uh, so I guess it comes full circle. I appreciate everybody who subscribed, who's been watching, fucking with the content, leaving comments, positive or negative. Um, I just love the support. Fuck with you guys for life. And uh, hopefully this year, 2023, is a year where I'm uploading more consistently. Um, I do say this all the time. I don't want to give you any promises because I always say I want to get back to YouTube and I just don't do it. But I'm trying my best. And uh, let's see if this year is better. But yeah, it's D-Wish on T's 1, 2, 3. Uh, I got a lot of fucking cleaning to do. So I'm about to head off. And uh, I fuck with y'all. Peace.